we built insane intersections, global leaf designs, and pushed the limit of efficiency further and further. But today, we expand that limit. Hello and welcome to Beer to You, the German engineer. Today, we are back with three ways and we are trying to close out the remaining rectangles. I would say we do the exact same thing as last time. We go counterclockwise and we will see how it goes. And here we are in the first level. Let's take a look what we got. All right, a lot of traffic going from one west to one east and vice versa. A little bit from this one here to south. Number nines are not doing a hell of a lot. So I think the easiest thing to do and probably the smartest thing to do is to go straight across here. Kinda just like that. Next thing probably will be going from yellow. No, actually, let's, let's connect these here. And then connect those two roads together and cut this yellow here in. I don't know, what exactly is this here? I, I literally can't tell you what the hell this sign here is supposed to show me. But we'll see. We'll see. All right. Those two are connected. Um, looks like we, from east, all we have to do is go in here. And west also wants to go in there. We're going to do that in a second. Come down here. It gives us that. And here, we're just going to have a tiny little turnaround. Barely any traffic, so that shouldn't cause too much trouble. All right, on the bottom side down here, um, we probably have to do something like... So we need to go up here to yellow, so we should just be able to go in here. Uh, why exactly does that not work? If I... Oh yeah, that's for this one. Eh, of course. Which should then once again just tell us to go right here. That should satisfy all of those. And the only thing that's missing is our yellow friend. Yellow wants to go everywhere, but really heavily to green. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna build a bridge up, come around here, connect it straight in here. It may be wasting a little bit of concrete, but at the same time, probably gonna be helpful in the long run for traffic. We also need to go to one east and to number nine. We can accomplish that probably easiest by going down here with our bridge, coming down and then here, and then extending this bridge over as short as we can, coming down and going in here. Let's see if that works. Mm, not too bad. 249. I would say that's not bad at all. All right, let's head back out to our map and go to the next one. All right, here we are. So let's see what we got. Okay, lots of traffic all around except this building here. Um, but this layout here. This layout here almost looks like a standard old global leaf design. Let's try it. Can we do that? Uh, Alright, coming down here. Leaving plenty of space to build out our connections. Alright, come back up. As short as possible, back down back down to the corner all right let's build our standard clover leaf design network complete i'm gonna test it just to see what score we get for not putting in the slip roads we got a 248 so what happens now if i add in our slip roads uh not this way Oh god, what am I doing? That was not good. The slip rock goes this way. Did that connect? I hope it did. It's really hard to tell. 
Uh, that was a stupid mistake to make. But we'll live with it. It only cost us this much concrete and here a little bit extra as well. Alright. Okay, this one here apparently. No, they connect. We had a 248 and we get a 342. Literally almost 100 points more just for adding in this tiny little connection. Alright. Let's head back to the map and head over to the next level. Let's see what we got. For west on the bottom left here, not a hell of a lot of traffic. For east, number nine and number nine. So we don't have overall a hell of a lot of traffic. So let's see if I go with this one all the way down around here and go in there. With number four, east, we're going up here with number nine where we are going to come up to the bypass number nine and with this one we are going to come all the way around down here now this uh looks like a completely tangled mess so let's think about it for just a second i think the most important thing we need is this road right here coming down here and then connecting right into here then from this one here, we need two little connections. One coming over here and another one going down here and connecting in there. We can then directly connect back out here on the corner and come over here. Here we need our straight connection again over. All right, let's see what exactly are we missing. That's good. That's good. That's good that's not good because from here we are only going over here and this is the connection over here so the only thing that's left to do should be this little connection and it is that's the what this looks like it's not gonna jam 226 pretty easy and straightforward i would say not sure how much better you can get on that but i take it all right let's check out the bottom left corner with the big old what is this here a lock manufacturing facility good grief all right we are going to start with well let's first see what we're doing <laughs> how would i know what we start with if i don't actually know where the traffic flows okay so we have our 16 northeast with heavy traffic to 16 Northwest. So let's connect that up. Then we have our clock factory over here with lots and lots of traffic over here. Build a very short bridge back down, almost cutting it here, but that will get the job done. And then we have our 16 Southwest that wants to go over here. So we need to have a double bridge here immediately back down and over here now we need a connection from here to there easy peasy we need a connection from here to there also easy peasy and another connection from here to there let's see can it really be this easy ah it looks beautiful i don't see a problem at all 502 Holy cow. If that is not a new record, I really don't know what is. All right. And on to the next one. All right. Let's see what we have here. Oh, big arrow to green. Big arrow to green. Not built. Uh, kind of a big arrow to blue. Okay. All right. So let's start with this connection right there. Uh, we're definitely going to need that if you like it or not. And from here, you want to go to blue? That's inconvenient. But I won't have really that much of a choice, do I? Hope that wasn't too narrow so I can still build over and around it later. You two here want to go both to green. So let's hook you guys up in that endeavor. 
And what do you want? You want not much really. Okay. So I can come off of here and go straight into there. Get some cars off this champed section here as soon as we can. What wants to go in there? Do we have any big arrow going in there? Nothing at all, really. Okay, so I'm just going to build a pretty big loop road in the air around here. And get it down and in there. So I should be able to hook most everything up to here. It's basically nothing wants to go with a lot of traffic in there. That's at least a theory. Let's see how that works out in practice. Come up here and go in there. But that one is also good to go. You, I mean, low hanging fruit, always good. Straight up there. Let's see. You're connected to here, going in there. You're connected to down here. And we can also connect you over to here. Not sure if I want to do that though. Uh, let's see. Can I get you to connect up there? Should be possible. Nothing is going up there currently except this here. That's a pretty steep turn, but it should get the job done. Alrighty. So, coming down here, connecting in there. And you also want to go up there. So, we should be able to come right here. Nothing connects down here into there. You're good. What about you? You want to go over there. I could just do something like nothing connects after this one. So this one and this one would just be a double measure. So let's go here, build up. It should cost us overall less concrete than going all the way over here. So you're good. And from over here, we can come up here. You are good. You are good. You're not good that I know. You're not good. You're just missing two. Let's take care of you two. From this row right here, we're coming up. And all the places it's currently going is to south, to teal, and to pink. I need you to get somehow to blue and to here. To here should not be a big deal because we can just cut off right here and everything that we connect up there will also be connected to here. Shouldn't cause any big jams, should be a pretty smooth turn. But how do we get you up here to the blue one? Well, that is the bigger question, isn't it? Probably have to go and connect in here. Not really my optimal solution, honestly. You over here, on the other hand, are connected to nothing. I could connect you right here, but is that causing too much traffic? Probably is. Unless I build somewhat of a double road, one that connects in here, and then another little loop road that just connects up there. So let's see what we have missing. You down here, you are missing. What is the smartest place to connect you to? You're connected only to here. If you're connected to this road right here, you would work, wouldn't you? Yes, you would. But I have a feeling that that is not gonna work. I think the smartest thing would be to use a little extra concrete to go across, back down and connect you to here. And the ones that wanna go down here can Direct connect me. Now we only have pink missing. Where do you tie in so it makes sense? Probably to here. Can I get there? That is the bigger question. Let's see. Don't jam on me. Sin Champs 386. Ooh. Wow. 
So this one was by far the most complicated and difficult so far. But I mean, 386, that is more than just a success in my book. But we already unlocked the next one without even... Wow, you're nothing, are you? <laughs> All right, you're nothing. Well, looks like this concludes today's episode and we have unlocked the whole next ring. Wow, so many levels. So I guess next time around, we will, I don't know, maybe start at the top and go clockwise or go counterclockwise again. I don't know. Maybe I just go random. <laughs> Whatever. We will see. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Leave a like. Leave me some feedback in the comments. And see you next time. Peace.